Hey Taurus, this is going to be a bonus reading from Alexander Tarot in love to see what messages the divine currently has for you in regards to the person that's currently in your energy. Okay. This is going to be for Taurus and for those who have Taurus anywhere in their natal chart, cross watchers, you are welcome here. Energy is fluid. So keep in mind that the roles may be reversed. You may flip these messages around as needed if necessary. Never force the reading. If it's for you, the messages will be fluid. Never force it, guys, okay? Before I start, we're gonna start with some. We're gonna start with some indicator cards, okay? To let us know, to give us some clues as to what this reading will entail, okay? Time is fluid. Anytime that you press play is the time for you to receive these messages. Show me the messages for Taurus, please, for this bonus reading. This is for the collectives. Show me the messages for Taurus. Show me the messages for Taurus. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support for from others, okay? Call on your village. Connect with your person, your confidant, the people that you can trust, the family member, friend, co-worker, the person that you truly trust. A real friend, though. Not just a co-worker that somebody you work with. Somebody that's really your friend. Maybe you happen to work with your friend. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay? Show me one more for Taurus. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so let's get into it. At the bottom of the deck, I have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. That's a bonus. All right. All right. So let's go into the tarot for Taurus, please. This paper on my roll. Show me the messages that Taurus needs to see. Hope you guys are well. Okay. Wow. Okay. Show me the messages for Taurus. Okay. All right, so have a lot of wand and sword energy here okay um i'm getting a lot of leo aries sagittarius you could be connecting with you could be connected with the gemini libra aquarius that's air and fire energy um it's it's a i get the energy of someone really struggling to listen to their emotions about a some sort of connection like trying i'm getting the energy of avoidance it could be you or your person somebody is avoiding their feelings okay and acting impulsively like acting on passion like passionate like if you're angry with the person if you're upset with the person if you love like love bombing the person the kind of energy of acting impulsively emotionally i would say but again more like physically passionately um or negative emotions i'm getting and um or just someone just kind of like trying to avoid the emotions, okay? So the situation that I got here, I have the Six of Swords reversed, the Ten of Wands reversed, Five of Wands reversed, the Five of Swords reversed. Ironically, I have Cups here too, with the Ten of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck, okay? So I get the energy of having a, a hard time moving on from someone, okay? With this Ten of, of Wands reversed, I feel like Someone here is like, it's time to give up. I feel like nothing's coming out of this situation. I'm like beating a dead horse. Um, feeling like overwhelmed and feeling like I need to let this go. Like I, I'm, I need to release this. It's been overwhelming for me. All right. Um, I'm just getting petty disagreements like wanting to compromise with this person but keep 
run into a wall. It, it ends up with these petty arguments, these disagreements. With this five of wands reverse, it's being crowned by this six of swords reverse. It's like trying to move on, but having a lack, there's a lack of progress. Wanting to get out of this conflicted energy, wanting to come to some sort of agreement, but can't seem to do that. Because with this five of swords reverse, I'm getting that. Like some sort of peace we resolve here, a compromise communication. Because the, the reason why you and your person are having a hard time, someone in this connection, they were raised in, an, in a very unhappy or challenging, I should say, or dysfunctional family environment. There's childhood trauma issues or even issues with prior relationships where this person lacks security and stability, okay? Again, it's between you and your person. Take it as it resonates, all right? Um, but someone in this connection lacks the stability to know what to do to bring resolve back into this connection, to bring, a, you know, to come together and, and be peaceful and just dead the drama, the negative drama. Okay, but there's in this, there's someone that, who, there's something to here about, okay, you're being crowned by the lack of progress, but it's like, I feel the energy that you guys want to peacefully resolve, resolve okay? I can't deny that, but I I don't see how it's happening because you're being crowned by the six of swords reverse. And that's what's causing this. This dysfunction at the bottom of the deck is 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 causing this situation to be at a standstill, not being able to progress into um a compromise or a peaceful resolve, I should say. So that's why this energy is okay, this is this I just wanna just I wanna get out of this burdensome energy. I wanna get out of this conflict. I don't want me and my person to be at each other's throats, okay? But there's an energy of not being able to fix this, okay? Someone here recognizes they can't because it takes two. Yeah, there's a there's a, there's a need for security here with this with this King of Pentacles. But you know, someone is not willing to take the risk. And I also feel like your person, you or your person, somebody's preoccupied, preoccupied with financial matters as opposed to emotional ones. And that's why I sense an emotional avoidance. That's one of the reasons. And the fact that there's childhood trauma with someone that who wasn't raised in a stable upbringing. So therefore their focus now is trying to create stability, but at the same time, they're not making themselves available to resolve this, okay? There's somebody here that has a lot going on with the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? Show me more in regards to this connection, please. The Taurus, like, show me more of this connection. Yeah, I have the Queen of Swords reverse. Um, there's someone that can't be trusted here. And I feel like this person also, like, puts people down. They, like, I feel like this person talks. Somebody in this connection is talking about the other person in a negative way. Okay, they're making it seem like it's all good. And this other person is not even, is completely oblivious. Someone in this connection is completely oblivious that the other person is talking to other people about them in a negative way. Okay? Um, it's manipulation. I got the magician reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay? This person is not learning from their past mistakes. So they're trying to paint the picture of how things are, but things are not the way they are saying that it is. Okay? And spirit is like, pay attention to the red flags when it comes to this, to this person. Okay. Show me the breakdown in this connection, please, between Taurus and their person. Show me the breakdown. Show me the breakdown, please. Oh, that fell out. I have the sun, the three of swords, and the six of cups as the breakdown at the bottom of the deck. Surprisingly, I have a three of cups here. So it's like, at one time, this was a really strong connection, okay? You, I get the energy of feeling really good about it, feeling confident about where it's going. Um, being like, feeling like you could trust this person, being happy with them, being honest and open, and they're reciprocating. But then, you know, something went wrong. With this, someone I've given alienation. Someone became closed off. That caused a separation. There's a lot of sadness and heartache here, and unhappiness because of this. Um, this change, this big change. 
But I also see with the Six of Cups that someone wants a reunion here. Somebody wants to be back with their person. And with this Three of Cups, I'm also getting that. They want a reunion. They want to come back with their person. They want to get out with their person. They want to see their person again. Um, but this person is also very childish and very immature. Okay, but they're getting clarity that they want their person back. All right, um, mind you, but the, the breakdown is this person showed up as one thing. Show me more for the breakdown. But then they, they brought a lot of confusion to, into this connection. Like, I feel the energy of somebody being really confused about this person's change in their behavior. Like, what went wrong? What went wrong is I have the devil reverse Capricorn energy and the Knight of Cups reverse at the bottom of the deck. This person just pulled back their feelings. This is someone who has poor personal boundaries. This is someone who's not really comfortable showing their emotions, okay? So they pull back when it gets uncomfortable for them, okay? This is someone that pulled back their energy. Yeah, you thought it was all good. We had this great thing. And then this person started acting in a way that didn't align with the feelings they said that they had for you. Okay, and it caused a lot of confusion. So if the devil reversed, I see someone here just feeling like this is, I, I'm just at the end of my rope with this person and I really need to release this person. This is a toxic situation and I'm just, I'm just recovering from it. I'm trying to release it. Okay, because with, again, with the Knight of Cups reversed, this is someone who's not emotionally available. Meanwhile, I feel the energy of this person wanting to come back. Okay, take it as it resonates. It could be you or your person. You know your feelings. So, you know, use your um, discernment, use your discretion when you're listening to this reading. But um, it's crazy. Like you're trying to release yourself from this person. Um, show me this person's feelings for Taurus. What is, their, what is this person's current feelings for Taurus, please? Show me more for this person's feelings for Taurus. Show me more for this person's feelings towards Taurus. I right now, I this person, they see you're getting released. Your ex, the time is has come to clear your energy. There's a reason for that, because right now, even though this person wants a reunion with you, they're not willing to act on it. They're still closed off. I got the Nine of Wands. The Ace of Swords reverse, and I got the Seven of Pentacles reverse, okay? It's like, there's this ongoing battle with this person. They're trying, to, they're trying to push through. They're trying to learn from their past, okay? They are trying. They're trying to gather the strength to change things. But they're still very unclear about what it is they want. They're not ready to communicate with this Ace of Swords reverse, Okay, and I'm getting failure because this person is not willing to put in the work with the seven of pentacles reverse. So if this person comes in now, now is not the time. And that's why spirit is saying and warning you that if this person does come back around now, pay attention to the red flags because they're still emotionally unavailable. Okay, there's still work that they need to do. If they come now with this tower card, there's going to be a tower moment between you and this person. Okay, it's, it's, it's just going to collapse. And that's Aries energy, by the way. Um, and I feel like Spirit is saying that every time that this person comes back to you and they're not healed, we're going to keep breaking it down. We're going to keep destroying it. There's going to be tower after tower until they come back as they should. But Spirit is not asking you to wait for this person either. Tell me more for this person's feelings. <laughs> yeah, you're stuck. And I said that, two of swords, you're feeling stuck, feeling on a fence. It's, this is, and this is a painful decision. Like I love this person and I wanna move on because I wanna be happy, but what if things are gonna be different? And I'm, I'm hearing maybe. And it's just like, no, it's time for you to pull yourself out of this situation with this person and not wait. You don't wait. You need to release this person and, and pour the energy back into you, okay? You're single, technically. So Spirit is like, get back out there again, okay? You deserve better. Stay optimistic about your love life, okay? You can manifest what it is that you want. <sighs> wow, this fell out the deck. Retreat. It's time for you to disconnect from the world, okay? So you need to turn that, take that energy, pull your energy back and pour it into yourself. But that I didn't even get to the advice yet. <laughs> Show me 
Yeah, this person is still acting out. This is someone who's very sensitive. This person comes back, they're gonna trigger you and, and hurt you again. And this trigger is gonna lead to another tower moment because they haven't done the spiritual work that they need to do in order to come back to you, okay? So Spirit, please show me Taurus's feelings for this person. What is Taurus's feelings for their person? Show me Taurus's feelings. I got the Seven of Swords reversed, the Ace of Wands reversed, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, and I feel like you feel like this person owes you an apology. Okay, and you feel like they were supposed to, you know, something was supposed to take off here that didn't, you know, it didn't, it, it didn't have the staying power that you wanted it to have, and you just recognize that this didn't work. And I want to focus more on building something that's solid, something of value with someone. Okay, so that's why the Ten of Pentacles is here at the bottom of the deck. There's also a King of Cups. So there's someone very mature, um, someone who's emotionally mature, someone stable is what you um, are pulling on. This is the energy that you're tapping into. Someone showing up for you that's mature. I get this, this could be somebody that's already around you, Taurus, like a very mature person. It could be very emotionally mature. It could be a friend, someone touching with, with their emotional life, very, someone who's giving you good advice, somebody who helps you heal. Okay, or if, if you're not, this person hasn't, you haven't met this person yet, when this person manifests in your life, that's the kind of person that this person is going to be. This is someone that's going to be more than a lover. This is someone that's a friend. Yeah, I have Ace of Pentacles here. This is someone that's, this is a new beginning. Okay, this is stability. This is security. This is abundance. You're manifesting a new person, a new love, a king of cups. Okay, because you say this person, you know, they owe me you feel like this person kept things from you and you're like this person needs to be open and honest with me and this person hasn't been a, hasn't been honest and open with me and you know you would need that person to be accountable for their behavior to even attempt to come back to you but you're like but that's a waste of time to even focus on that this is this is you know this is a missed opportunity here this person is not going to come forward and you need to continue to move on so you recognize that you need to release this person okay you recognize that already and you're manifesting a new love here with this Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Show me Taurus's challenges, please. What's Taurus's challenges? Your challenges is the Queen of Wands. Show me one more for Taurus's challenges. And the two of wands reverse, fire energy, Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, your challenge, and I got the, at the bottom of the deck the three of cups. So your challenge is to know that you do deserve better. You are the queen of wands. You're very loyal, you're very helpful, you're well-liked, you're beautiful, you're handsome, because you know the, the cards are not gender-based. Um, you, you have a lot going for yourself. And your challenge is, but yet you're keeping yourself stuck with the two of wands reverse. I mean, well, you're keeping yourself stuck with the Two of Swords, but the Two of Wands reverses your challenge. You have to make a decision, okay? Because there's a fear of change here. You're indecisive. You know that you should be moving forward. You know that you deserve more. You know that you can manifest what it is that you want, but you feel stuck in this situation with this person because you're like, well, you know, what if, okay? With the Three of Cups, but this Three of Cups can also be getting out. Sorry. Oh my God, guys. Your challenge is to get out, to date, to, to attend parties, to accept invitations, to just get out again. That's why we got the flood card, okay? It's time for you to get out and make new connections and stay optimistic about the love life because you're manifesting this new love. In order for this to happen, you have to release your ex, okay? Gosh, this is crazy. You have to release your ex and be willing to move on, okay? You got to put yourself out there. 
and love will come. You just have to believe that as the queen of wands, that you are worthy of it. Because everybody else can see that you're worthy of it, okay? All of a sudden, I have to go to the bathroom so bad. I drank so much water. But we're going to continue this reading, okay? So before... um. I mean, what else is there to say? These are the messages. So those are the messages for you. You have to decide what you want so that it comes to you, Taurus, okay? So those are the messages. I wish you this healing love. I wish you light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.